If you heard my morning report, you heard me promising that I will report about a new income for Tesla. Did you know that US authorities put now stricter consumption rules back into force and this is going to create new income for Tesla. And in this report, I'm going to talk about that. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and help us to reach our goal. We would like to go to 100,000 subscribers and we're now 70,000. We just past 70 today i would really, really appreciate all of you subscribers please help us to reach this goal and like this video because in my next report i'm going to bring you new report showing tracks also going toward east from giga berlin but now about this new income for tesla because u.s authorities put stricter consumption rules back into force so what does this mean this new income stream for tesla it took a little longer than requested but ultimately tesla has gotten its way and it could pay off pretty well after the Trump administration that was voted out in January 2021 quickly suspended even stricter rules on the fuel consumption of new cars in the United States, Tesla demanded in court that this be reversed immediately. Despite a repetition of this demand, six months later, things did not happen that quickly. But this week, the responsible traffic authority, NHTSA, actually put the regulations from the Obama era back into force. What does this mean? This means penalties for car makers with excessive emissions and new revenue opportunities for Tesla. Let me repeat that again. This new regulation means penalties for automakers with excessive emissions and new revenue opportunities for Tesla. This is very important for Tesla considering Giga Shanghai shutting down for several days and we don't know how long it will go. Now, this means billions in fines for manufacturers in the United States. The interim rule from 2021 will be withdrawn and the final one from the end of 2016 will be reintroduced, the NHTSA said after the news agency Reuters had previously reported on this decision. It should come into force 60 days after publication, but also retrospectively for the model years 2019 and 2021, the fine increases from $550 to $14 per 0.1 miles per gallon above the permissible consumption. For 2022, the NHTSA also specified further tightened limits. According to Reuters, the authority had not demanded any fines for the past three years because the Trump new regulation was disputed in court. This means that the industry is now likely to face high additional payments. Prior to passage in 2016, she had put the cost of tightening at $1 billion per year as of 2019. Similar to, similar to EU and China, however, car companies can trade with each other to balance their emissions balances. This is where Tesla benefits. Car companies can trade with each other to balance their emissions balances. Tesla, as a pure electric car manufacturer, has to give up a lot of credit while conventional ones have to buy them. I think this is also true for other car companies that are pure electric, like Lucid Motors can benefit from this, or Rivian. In 2020, the Tesla, the Tesla brought in around $1.6 billion in revenue worldwide from other car companies. Last year, it was just under $1.5 billion, also because the previous major buyer, Fiat Chrysler, no longer had need after the merger from, uh, to form Stellantis. Now, Profitable issuance year for Tesla? Possibly. That may have referred only or mainly to the European Union area and contained the assumption that the stricter US rules would not come back. According to the Reuters report, today's Stellantis company has estimated the burden of these to be about $572 million per year prior to initial deployment. Now it will probably become reality on a similar scale. 
scale. This increases the value of the carbon credit built up by Tesla and other electric car manufacturers. At first, it was not clear whether such transactions are still possible retrospectively and whether Tesla even has any credits left for this time. However, 2022 could become lucrative again in this regard with further increases in deliveries and even stricter consumption rules. Let me know your thoughts, friends. What do you think about this possible new revenue and income stream for Tesla? And please subscribe to this channel. Help us to reach the goal because in my next report, I'm going to tell you how trucks move from Giga Berlin toward East. Where East? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. God bless you, everyone. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up for this report. And see you soon in our next Tesla story. The first Tesla figures for 2022 are already coming, but analysts are becoming more and more cautious shortly before the publication of the Tesla's 2022 figures. And in this report, I'm going to tell you why. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. Help us to reach our goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers. And also, you will uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage because in my next coverage today, in a few hours, I'm going to tell you about new revenue stream that Tesla has been developing. So Tesla is expected to present the first official figures for 2022 this weekend or Monday at the latest. There is no information on sales and profits for the time being, but the company usually announces the numbers of its delivered electric cars shortly after the end of each quarter, which allows conclusions to be drawn. On average, analysts expect a new record in Tesla deliveries for the first quarter of 2022, but have become more cautious in recent days. 310,000 Tesla deliveries are expected in the first quarter. But the last quarter of 2021, actually by the last quarter of 2021, Tesla had surpassed even the most optimistic expectations of the analysts. Banks previously expected 266,000 Tesla deliveries of the last quarter of 2021, which would have been a new record after the 241,300 uh, deliveries in the previous quarters. Ultimately, Tesla delivered 308,600 electric vehicles in quarter 4, 2021, and thus 936,172 Tesla cars for the whole year. That means 87% more than in 2020. The Gigafactory in Shanghai made a major contribution to this, from which a good 70,000 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles were sold in December 2021 alone. In January and the shortened February 2022, this number fell noticeably, but overall Tesla is said to have planned to increase production there to 1 million electric cars per year. This is probably one of the reasons why analysts like Gary Black are expected to further increase in deliveries worldwide for quarter one. For example, Gary Black, an analyst, uh, tweeted uh, on March 30th saying, quarter one Tesla delivery estimates continue to fall in front of one quarter one delivery print this Saturday. As of this morning, Wall Street quarter one deliveries now are at 310.2 thousand um, per Bloomberg the IR compiled consensus among 26 analysts for quarter one deliveries are about 312,500 vehicles. Depending on which banks and brokers you take into account when calculating an average, a consensus forecast is between 310,000 and 312,500 Tesla deliveries for quarter one, 2022. That's what came out. Fund manager Gary Black, like I said, who has access to such figures, reported on Twitter Wednesday. According to him, the slightly higher value results from a compilation of 26 analyst forecasts by Tesla, which was published on Monday. This is why I'm saying, friends, subscribe to our channel, because I'm bringing you the new revenue stream that Tesla has been developing and is going to enjoy very soon. You will also help us to reach our goal of getting 100,000 subscribers. 
Previously, however, even higher numbers of more than 320,000 deliveries were traded for the first Tesla quarter of 2022. According to Black, several financial houses have lowered their forecasts in the past few days, resulting in a lower average. Because in mid-March, Tesla had to interrupt production in its Chinese Giga Shanghai factory for two days due to new um, virus restrictions. And since this week, it has been resting again for four days. I think as of now, it will still be closed. Giga Shanghai will still be closed for two days. This is why no final sprint for Giga Factory in Shanghai yet. So Tesla was not able to make an undisturbed final sprint in China this quarter, especially since domestic deliveries are likely to have been restricted by this virus lockdown in Shanghai. Keep in mind, it's not only Giga Shanghai that is closed. It's like people are not going out to buy things, to purchase, to make purchases. So if no one is going out and Giga Shanghai is closed, that's going to impact Tesla, right? To compensate, there could at least be a three-digit number of Model Y from the German Gigafactory, whose deliveries in Europe started this week. And for fund manager Black, the recently lowered forecasts also have something good. This makes it easier for Tesla to exceed market expectations, he explained. You know, I think uh, as Gigafactory Berlin is coming into production and deliveries go all the way now to this morning, I read that there has been deliveries from Giga Berlin in, uh, in Italy and yesterday or two days ago we saw in Denmark and throughout Germany. I think Gigafactory Berlin may come to rescue Giga Shanghai a little bit. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Help us to reach our goal at least to surpass 70,000 subscribers today and go close to 100,000. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in my next report today, which is going to be about new revenue stream of Tesla.